Hello, my dear students. We enter the uh, Sudan uh, exam uh, 2013. Uh, the uh, question number four. Uh, A, uh, write the scientific term for each of the following. Number one, deep cavity where the head of the femur fit inside it. The uh, cavity in the pelvic girdle where the head of the femur fit inside it, it is called the acetabulum cavity. Number two, chemical substance formed in the growing tips of the plant and responsible for the growth. We understand that the growing tips responsible for the secretion of the auxins. So the plant auxins as an endol acetic acid is the chemical substance that uh, uh, responsible for the growth of the plant part and also responsible for the formation of flowers and the fruit, responsible for the foreign leaves and responsible for the growth or the tropisms of the plant as the phototropism, geotropism and the hydrotropism. Question four number A, scientific term. The structure of the sperm play an important role in the division of the fertilized egg. We understand that the fertilized egg needs the presence of two centrioles in the neck region of the sperm. So the head of the sperm and the neck region can pass through the egg or the fertilized egg to uh, stimulate the zygote or the fertilized egg to divide. So the answer is the centrioles in the neck region. The fourth part of the scientific term, a process in which ADP combine with the phosphate group to form ATP in the mitochondria. We understand that inside the mitochondria, where the uh, uh, high energy electrons descend step by step of, on the cytochrome chain, and the energy change ADP into ATP, that's uh, in the case or in the process which is called the uh, phosphor the, act the oxidative phosphorylation. So the phosphorylation takes a place in the ADB into ATP by adding a phosphate group and the amount of energy and oxidation takes a place in the NAD uh, H into NAD positive and the fed H2 into fat. The uh, part number B in question 4. Two wide eye parents give narrow eyes a son. Explain on genetic basis. We understand that the wideness is the dominant character, but the narrow eyes is the uh, recessive. So when the two dominant individuals produce recessive individuals, that means the two parents are impure individual. So the two parents, W capital W small, uh, 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 are crossed. So the two recessive genes in both of them fuse together to form W small, W small. That will be a uh, recessive individual and the ratio will be three to one also. Uh, question, uh, part number C in question four, mentions the type of the mutation in the case of Klein filter. Is this false mutation? Why? Is this true mutation? Why is that? The uh, mutation in the Klein filter takes place by the uh, fertilization of an ovum 22 plus X with the sperm 22 plus XY or an ovum 22 plus XX with the sperm 22 plus Y. So the clam filter syndrome is a 44 plus XXY. The clam filter syndrome act as a male due to the presence of Y chromosome. But what about the mutation? The mutation does not act as a true mutation because we understand that the true mutation is the mutation can transfer from the parents to the offspring. But we understand that Klinefelter syndrome act as a individual with sterility or infertility. So this character can't transfer from this parent to the offspring because the Klinefelter syndrome is a, a sterile individual or the individual suffer from uh, infertility, so this mutation is not act as a true mutation, but it's act as a false mutation because it can transfer from the parents to the offspring. Some gamete mutation can act as a true mutation uh, because some gamete mutation can transfer from the parents to the offspring, but in this case of Klinefelter syndrome, it acts as a chromosomal mutation due to the presence of more excess uh, chromosome or more, more X chromosome, and also can act, can act as a gamete mutation. 
uh, due to the uh, formation of certain substance or certain enzymes in, during the formation of gamete and also act as a non-desirable mutation. The next question, where are the passive cells? Number that act as the first question and the next is uh, mention, the, mention their characteristics and the function. The next part of the question asks about the uh, passage cells. The passage cells is the uh, cells in the endodermals or the endodermal cells which act as the innermost layer of the cortex in root or in dicot root and the endodermal cells containing the Casparian strip. And you understand the Casparian strip made of cyoprene, which is an impermeable substance. It allows the passage of uh, uh, the water and salts to pass from as a direction from the root here to the xylem vessels. And they can't allow the water to reach the phloem by imbibition, which is not controlled by the cell. But what about the uh, characteristics of the uh, passage cells or the endodermal cells? We understand that the endodermal cells containing Casparian strip. So, the water passes through the endodermal cells by osmosis, not by imbibition. And the salts pass by the uh, active transport. And also the Casparian, the uh, endodermal cells containing the Casparian strip, therefore that act as a passage cells. Therefore, the passage cells allow the water to pass through the xylem and never go towards the phloem by imbibition and also the uh, uh, characteristics is the presence of the Casparian strip, the water passed by osmosis, the salts takes place by active transport, the endodermal cells containing the uh, starch granules to help in the formation of the energy that needed by the active transport to help the passage of the salts through it. And, that, and, and the endodermal cells is located at the uh, innermost layer of the cortex that causing that facing the fly. The next question, choose from column B, what's used for column A? Column A is number one, UUU, U, U, number two, TAC, number three, AAA, number four, CCA. What about the answer of these parts? In number B, treble code for star to codon. Treble codes that located on the DNA or the three Nucleotides on the DNA that form the start code in AUG is a TAC number 2. So number A connected with the T. TAC act as a treble code on the DNA that to form start code on the mRNA. Treble code of DNA on DNA form stop code. Uh, in this code there is no uh, code on DNA form stop code because the stop code yoga, UA, UAG and UAA. So there is no uh, codons on the DNA that located at the column A to form number B. Number C, a sequence of nucleotides that uh, related to the site of amino acids attachment on the 2RNA. We understand that the attachment side of the tRNA is a CCA at the 3' prime end that connect with the amine group of the amino acids. So number C is connected with the number 4 CCA. Number D, anticodon on tRNA paired with the codon on mRNA. And number E, a codon on mRNA uh, molecule paired with the anticodon. D and E with the 1 and 3. If the codon on the mRNA is UUA, that means the anticodon on the tRNA that attached with codon is a AAA. But if the codon on the mRNA is AAA, the anticodon will be UUU. So we can uh, 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 allow the match of the number one with the D and the number three with the E or number one with the E and the number three with the D. Well, here, مش 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 منطقي أو مش عادي إن إحنا نلاقي اختيارين دا ينفع يبقى التاني دا دا ينفع يبقى التاني دا لكن they act as a mistake in the uh, exam. The next question. What would happen in each of the following cases? Damage of the medulla oblongata. We understand that the damage of medulla oblongata leads to death because the medulla oblongata containing the centers of respiration and the centers 
of the pulsating of blood vessels to pump the blood inside the blood circulation. So the damage of the medulla oblongata leads to death. Number two, the uh, presence of the body cells responsible for the insulin. The absence of the body cells responsible for the insulin. If the body cells that are responsible for the, the, the response of the plant uh, of the body cells to the insulin, that leads to the uh, 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 mellitus or the diabetes mellitus because the diabetes mellitus three types. The first with the low concentration of insulin or insufficient secretion of insulin in blood. So that leads to the diabetes mellitus or high concentration of insulin, but the cells can't stimulated by or can't respond to the presence of this concentration of insulin. So this case also act as a, a, a kind of the disease or the kind of the reason, the reason of the disease which causes the diabetes mellitus. Number three, the absence of coenzymes NAD positive from the mitochondria. Not positive responsible for carrying the high energy electrons and proton and the high the uh, not positive uh, combined with the two electrons and one proton the net and to change into net H the net H uh, carries two high energy electrons that descend step by step on the cytochrome chain to change ADP into ATP so the absence of net positive that means the step of the uh, uh, Oxidation of the pyrophic acid in, uh, into acetyl group is not takes place, and also the other steps of the Krebs cycle is not not takes place. And the energy produced from the uh, 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 electron transport is not takes place. So great amount of energy uh, 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 is not produced at the absence of NAD positive. Number four, the absence of DNA satellite. DNA satellite act as a The DNA satellite act as a uh, part of the DNA, uh, uh, which act as the non-coding parts of the DNA. The non-coding parts of the DNA, that means the, this part is non-coding that protects the structure of DNA against the action of the enzymes. So, the absence of the DNA satellite, or the two terminal ends, or the 10% of DNA, that means the two parts, or the two terminal parts, of the DNA which protects the DNA molecule that if they removed or absence of the DNA satellite that means that will damage the parts of DNA because they are non-coding parts and the non-coding parts responsible for the keeping the structure of DNA and also determine the uh, uh, coding parts of the DNA. In one of the crossings uh, the phenotype is G small L small and G small L small appear with the ratio 5 50%. Explain on genetic basis the genetic case of this hybridization. We understand that the presence of G small L small, G small L small that indicate that, uh, that the case is a complete linkage. So uh, the crossing will take a place uh, by the impure dominant individual G capital L capital G small L small with the pure recessive individual short G small L small G small L small. G small L small G small L small is a plaque short that act as a recessive individual pure in both of them or pure recessive. But the hybridization of gray long G capital L capital G small L small the uh, linkage between the G and the L and the two genes are linked on the same chromosome and inherited as one unit. So the G capital L capital G small L small produce two kinds of gametes only. So if the ovum G small L small is fertilized with the sperm G capital L capital that will form G capital L capital G small L small and the fusion of the or the fertilization of the ovum G small L small with the sperm G small L small that will form G small L small G small L small that will be short and black. So the two individuals produce 50-50 similar to the parents that indicate that the case is a complete linkage. My dear students, that's the end of this part. Thank you very much. Goodbye and good luck.